Hi, this is a demonstration for a Bose 901 Series 4 Active Equalizer. This is a unit made by Bose that I believe was meant to be used with their 901 series speakers. This particular unit was manufactured in 1978 to 83. It's got some very basic controls on it. There's just a tape monitor switch if you have a tape recorder hooked up to it. A low filter which basically cuts the, the low frequencies at 40 Hertz down by 5 DB and it has these um, low frequencies and high frequency sliders that you can adjust the low frequency control is a plus or minus 8 DB over the range of about 100 to 400 Hertz and the high frequency is a plus or minus 8 dB adjustment at around 10 kilohertz. There is no power switch on this unit it's always on when you plug it in and there's an indicator light there for that. It's kind of a this is a little bit smaller unit they're not real heavy. There's just a couple pounds. Um, these are made with like a wood veneer sides and top. And then there's a metal front here. And the base and back are, are metal. On the back, there's just some basic connections here. There's uh, amplifier connections, input and output. So to hook this to an amplifier, this particular receiver has what it calls a, um, a processor input and output left and right. So basically, the input for this equalizer comes from the output of the processor from the receiver and vice versa on the input for the equalizer. So, and then there's a connections there for your tape recorder if you want to hook a tape recorder to this too. So, and then there's your power cord. So, I do have some piano playing through this. See if I can hear it at all. Okay, I'm back. I had to change the battery in my audio player there. So I've just got some piano music playing through this, so I don't get any copyrights from YouTube. It's kind of hard to demonstrate this on a video, but I'm going to try. Here's the low filter. can't really hear much not a lot of low frequencies going on in this piece 
Now here's the low frequency slider. the high frequency. And there's a little indents for the middle. It centers the middle for you, so you know where that is. that's really all there is to it there it's a pretty simple product but you can find a lot more information online if you go to the Bose website they have the original manual for this available for download in a PDF format so if you want to read up more on it you can do it there and of course there's other YouTube videos covering some of that stuff too so like I mentioned, it's made for the 901 series speakers, but you can use it with standard standard speakers, standard um, audio equipment, you know, receivers like this, um, or, or other amplifiers, integrated amplifiers and whatnot. So, but um, anyway, I'm going to just uh, pause it here, and I'm going to show you the inside too, so you can see. If you have any interest, what's inside of one of these? So hold on just a moment. All right, this is what the inside looks like. Nothing super high tech in there, but. I don't know if anybody's ever worked on this particular one. Um, circuit board layout is nice and clean. I'm assuming these are all the original parts. But, um, but this unit's working fine for its age. I imagine the electrolytic capacitors might need to get changed out someday, but uh, at the moment it seems to be working fine, so... So anyway... That's about it. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. This is what the case looks like when it's off. It's got some shielding there for noise, I'm sure, and... comes apart real easy. There's a four screws on the bottom of the unit and top comes right off. So working on one of these wouldn't be too difficult if you had to do some troubleshooting. So anyway, that's that's all I had. Thanks for viewing.